to access the ArcGIS Last API, you have to be authenticated and uh, the authentication is handled by a token. And I'm going to show you how you can generate a token to be able to access these if you get these or page presented to you. So first of all, you need to install Postman. We are going to use Postman and this is the download link. I have it already uh, installed, so I'll pull it up from this side and um, you can see from um, the postman I'm going to show you how to do that. And to uh, generate a token, we have two different ways that you can do that, but I'm going to show you one um, just here in about a moment. So to do that, you're going to, um, you know, add an instance and I have uh, the URL, the generate access token URL. So I'm going to copy these, um, go back to my enter URL page here and I'm going to paste that. So make sure that we are, um, you're doing it as a post request and uh, you can see the various keys that you have uh, we have the F which is the format and our format um, is going to be returned as a JSON and then uh, this is the press that you give the uh, username to your ArcGIS Online and then this is the other press that you provide your password so I'm not going to give that here but make sure that this is um, this is usually case sensitive, and uh, you should make sure that you know the password and all that is fine. So once you do that, you click uh, send, and I already did that. Provided my username and password, generated the token. Uh, you can see the token; it's a very long one here. Uh, we have the expiration time, and that's okay. Alright, so now that we have the token, um, the next thing is to uh, know how to access the uh, the rest, you know, endpoint of all resource. To do that, there is the format of the URL. Um, my item here is a feature server. And the example that I'm using here is a map server. So just works the same way so at the end of the world map server or feature server or whichever item it is we are going to add a question mark a token is equals and then we paste in our token so let's do that I'm going to do that here I'm going to add a question mark the name token is equals to and paste in our token let's see if we are able to access this item all right so there you go um if you got that you know um total message and you don't know how to access the um, token you can use postman and uh, you know you just add an instance here it's a post request then you paste in your post url and then um you know, it automatically populates uh, this information. I'm going to link these uh, post URL down there so that you can take a look at it. And that's it. Thank you very much.